What's going on YouTubers, Pokey viewers? Today we are doing another PSA return. This is a 167 card return. Did really well on these returns. These two piles here, Gym Mint 10s, matched my Mint 9 piles, and then a couple of 7s and 8s over here. So we did really well in terms of Gym Mint percentage. This is a very diverse order. We got a lot of E-Series. Uh, some Wizards of the Coast Neo series, Wizards of the Coast E series and EX series. Also, a lot of EX sets, Reverse Hollows, Team Rock Returns. So a lot of good stuff. A lot of nice gem mints to check out here. Uh, if you guys haven't checked out the other PSA returns, I had a couple big ones before this. Come in if you haven't seen those videos. If you see anything to interest you, check out my Instagram. Or send me a message or comment and maybe we can work out a deal. So we're going to start with this pile right here. They're in a random order pretty much at this point. Because I reorganized them into the grades. So to start us off, we have Bellsprout from Fire Red Leaf Green Refractor Hollow with a Gem Mint 10. You can see the energies in the back there are holographic. A lot of these cards are pop one or very low pop. We have Horsey from Holland Phantoms, Delta Species, Fire Type, Gem Mint 10. That's a sick looking card. Next we have Mudkip from EX Ruby and Sapphire. This is just a regular common Gym Mint 10. I haven't checked the pop on all these, but I'm pretty sure this is pretty low pop. But it's not pop one because I got two of them. I sent in two trying to go for 10. It's a nice clean looking card. On the older sets, the, you know, sending in non hollows seem to have a little better, higher chance of a 10. Uh, we also have Mudkip from EX Dragon, which is the other Wizards or non Wizards of the Coast E series sets. That artwork is sweet. And you guessed it, I sent two of those. And the second one also got a 10. So four 10s on the Mudkips that we sent. Next we have Charmeleon, non hollow from EX Crystal Guardians with Gym Mint 10. And if you watch the other videos or are familiar with this set, these sets, they do a lot of duplicate uh, Pokemon with different artworks. So here's the other Charmeleon from Crystal Guardians with a Gym Mint 10. It is a lightning type due to it being a Delta species. A lot of these I sent in the first couple rounds were the reverse hollows, and some of these uh, I sent this time were the non hollows. We have Dratini from Dragon Frontiers, Delta. Grass type, Gem Mint 10. Togepi from Dragon Frontiers, Delta, Water type, Gem Mint 10. Cyndaquil, with also with a Gem Mint 10, that's a Psychic type. Crobat, Reverse Hollow from Sky Ridge, number 6 from the set. It's a nice looking hollow. We have Kangaskhan from Aquapolis, just a regular common in Gym Mint 10. Send in two of those. We have Alekid from Aquapolis, rare, number nine from the set, Gym Mint 10. Next, we have Totodile from Neo Destiny with a Gym Mint 10. Cyndaquil, also with a Gym Mint 10. Didn't have a Chikorita to send. We have Steelix Reverse Hollow from Sky Ridge with a Gym Mint 10. Umbreon, Aquapolis Non Hollow with a Gym Mint 10. And a second one with a Gym Mint 10. And a third one with a Gym Mint 10, which is amazing. Picked up those three and these next ones together. Espeon, non hollow with a Gym Mint 10. Also, Gym Mint 10. This is a random one I had and I like the artwork, so send in a Pikachu, non hollow, number 60 from the X Emerald set and a Gym Mint 10. Flareon, Sky Ridge, Gym Mint 10. Reiku 
from Sky Ridge in a Jim Mint 10, also non hollow. Charmander from Expedition, Jim Mint 10. Ditto, Jim Mint 10. Reverse Cadabra from Sky Ridge with a Jim Mint 10. Gengar from Expedition, Jim Mint 10. Got two of those. Electabuzz from Expedition with a GM Mint 10. That's pretty cool artwork. That's why I sent that one in. And last one in this pile, Ivysaur, GM Mint 10. So that is the first pile of GM Mint 10s. I took one off of here because the mud kips were divided up. But um, pretty exciting so far. Next we have Aaron, GM Mint 10 from EX Hall of Phantoms. That's the reverse. We have Vaporeon from Delta Species, Hollow, Jim and 10. This next one I know is the pop one. I checked it. Snorlax from Plasma Storm Reverse. I've had this sitting around since we opened some packs back when the set came out. I was like, I'm going to send this in and see what happens. So that's pretty cool. Next we have Rayquaza from EX Hollow and Phantoms. This is a Reverse Hollow, Jim and 10, which is a pop two. Sabrina's Gengar, first edition from Gym Challenge with a Gym Mint 10. And second one with a Gym Mint 10. Next we have Ivysaur from Southern Isles, Gym Mint 10. Send a few of these. And the War Turtle. It's pretty neat. Dark Typhlosion from Neo Destiny Holographic with a Mint 9. Wish that would have got a 10 to match the Cyndaquil. Next we have Brock's Volpix, Wizards of the Coast Gold Stamp promo from one of the magazines in a Gym Mint 10. Next we have Lil Leap, Hall and Phantoms, Jim Mint 10. Sableye, Jim Mint 10. Dawn Fan, Jim Mint 10. One of my favorites from this set, Executor, Hall and Phantoms, Jim Mint 10. Absol, Jim Mint 10. Got a nice lot of Hall and Phantoms, all came from the same, same lot here. And Clay Doll. Next we have Team Rocker Returns, Azumarill. Dark Artillery, Octillery. Delta Species Hypno, Reverse Rare, GM Mint 10. Dark Tyranitar in GM Mint 10. Here comes Team Rocket and Jim Mint 10. Jump Pluff and Jim Mint 10. Pelio Swine, Pilo Swine. I'm not sure because it's Pilo Swine. Jim Mint 10. Dark Muck, non hollow, and Jim Mint 10. The other artwork of Dark Tyranitar and a Jim Mint 10. That got mixed up. There's another one of the Pilo Swans. Dark Sand Slash non hollow and a Jim Mint 10. So that adds a lot of Team Rock Returns and Jim Mint 10s um, to my set. I think I have some on eBay, but I don't have them all up. I might just try to organize the rares and of the dark ones and put them together as a lot. But if you need those to build that set, let me know. So next we'll get into the two pile of Mint 9s. Still some great cards. Always happy with a 9. 
lot of people only collect 10s, but 9s mint as well. So next we have Tyranitar from Aquapolis, just a regular rare. Totodile from Expedition Reverse Hollow. A second Totodile from Neo Destiny, one got a nine. So you will see some repeats of some, some ones I sent multiple cards, but they received different grades. Caterpie Refractor from Fire Red, Fire Red Leaf Green, mint nine. And from the same set, we have Seal. So the Bell Sprout got the ten, those two got nines. Larion, Hall and Phantoms, Reverse, Corefish, Hall and Phantoms, a lot of Hall of Phantoms and Team Rocket in this set. Dark Houndoom, Mint 9, Wish Cash, Mint 9, Weezing, Mint 9, that's Delta Species. Dark Tyranitar, Mint 9. Dark Tyranitar, Mint 9. Torchic from Holland Phantoms in Mint 9. Do have that in a 10 as well from another return. Staryu, Mint 9. This is Charizard from Evolutions, the pre release from the pre release kits. I sent in the set of these, the Charizard received a 9. And you didn't see him in the 10, so there was no 10s. Jolteon from Delta Species with a Mint 9. And Espeon with a Mint 9. So here's some Sabrina's Gengar. You saw the two 10s. Here's one in Mint 9. And a second one with Mint 9. If you notice like a little mess up there, the camera just stops recording after like 15 minutes or something. And I don't know how to change it. I've been looking, but... I gotta figure something out. Because sometimes you look down and you're like, when did it stop recording? Here's Ivysaur from Southern Isles. Two of those with a mint nine. One of the coolest looking cards from their turn Jolteon from Legendary Collection with a mint nine. Earth's Ring Hollow from Neo Discovery with a mint nine. Espeon from Neo Discovery with a mint nine. Norlax with a mint nine. Butterfree with a mint nine. Next we have Eevee from Radiant Collection with a mint nine. Love the hollows on these. There is, I guess, six of these. And not one got, got a 10. All six got a nine. So that's one pile of the nines. move on to the next pile. We have Tyranitar from Expedition. It's kind of hard to see, but it is a reverse foil. Electabuzz with a mint nine. You saw earlier that we got one of those in a 10. Raichu with mint nine. War Turtle reverse from Expedition with a mint nine. That's a nice looking art. The other artwork of Totodile from Expedition with a Mint 9. Our non hollow Squirtle got a 9. Reverse Foil Articuno with a 9. There's a second Tyranitar Rare with a 9. Venusaur, Mint 9. Next we have Espeon Prime from Heart Gold Soul Silver with a 9. We have two Torchics from Legendary Treasures Radiant Collection with nines. And this is a pop one, surprisingly, from at least what PSA's website says. Uh, Charmander Reverse Foil from Legendary Treasures with a mint nine. It's a cool looking reverse. Send in two of the Magic Carps promos. Both received mint nines. Like that hollow a lot. Was hoping for a 10. Gyarados pre-release with a mint 9. 
Machamp pre-release with a Mint 9. Slowpoke Mint 9. These are some more legendary collection. Pidgey with a Mint 9. Charmeleon with a Mint 9. Pidgeot from Expedition with a Mint 9. Aerodactyl from Hall and Phantoms with a Mint 9. Another cool looking one here. Deoxys from Hall and Phantoms. Delta type, Mint 9. Charmeleon with a Mint 9. Saw a 10 of that earlier. We have some Hollow Energies from Hall and Phantoms with Mint 9. Mint 9. Mint 9. Unless I, okay, Mint 9. I left this in order here, but one got an 8. Other one with a Mint 9. Dragon Frontiers Togetic Hollow with a Mint 9. And Reverse Seedra with a Mint 9. So here is the 8s and the 7s. Not very many, but some, some cool stuff. Bell Awesome First Edition from Neo Genesis with a Near Mint 8. A Pidgey with a Near Mint 8. You saw a couple of those got 9s. Raichu Reverse with a Near Mint 8. Sadly, our Dragonite Hollow with a Near Mint 8. And the Reverse with a Near Mint 8. Vulpix Reverse with a Near Mint 8. Only sent one of those. Our Espeon EX with a Near Mint to Mint 8. That's nice. And here is the Evolutions Mewtwo pre release, which I imagine just a cut probably threw it off to 8, but I bought it as a cheap a lot. I just sent all four. Lugia from Neo Genesis with a near mint eight. That one's nice. Espeon, Neo Discovery Hollow with a near mint eight. You saw I had a couple nines. A second one got an eight. Poly Polyotoad from Neo Discovery with an eight. Oh, I got three eights, one nine in this slot. Another Espeon with an eight. 7.5, which is an odd grade. Umbreon EX, that's my fourth one, got a 7. I don't know why they keep doing that to me. And Dark Espeon with a 7. So a lot of Espeons didn't pull 9s, but... So that is all. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Comment below what's your favorite card here. If you have any interest in any of, the, any of these gym mints, Comment below, contact me on Instagram, I post sales every day. And as always, thank you guys for watching.